All right, what's happening? We got Leo at Equus, the line and the horse. Nice little fable. All right, so the lion, all right, when it came. And then we've got an odd plus ND, so drone of a purpose. In order to eat the horse, moreover, Altem, the lion, <clears throat> in Karens is a present active participle, uh, the NS, nominative singular, so it's describing Leom. Another thing about Karens is it takes the ablative, which is going to be this weirus here, uh, weirabus here. Now, that's not from weir man, that's from with strength. The lion, lacking strength, I price necked up um, on account of his old age. All right, Coep, it began. And I gave you a little note on this. Um, began uh, to lay a trap. And that's mentally like, meditor is, you know, to think, ponder, conceive, artem, skill, craft, trick, something like that. So the meditari, artem, that's how we're getting uh, to lay a trap. And this is a present opponent infinitive. Sweet. So, um, our verb right here is the tur. All right, and this is also deponent. The tur, since we don't have anything nominative, is still going to be our, whoops, combined Leo, and all right, it's still going to be the Leo. We have an infinitive here. We have an accusative here. We definitely have some indirect statement going on. Now, note the UM on medicum, even though it's the first word, it is not the subject. That UM is telling you that, hey, I am accusative. Don't make me a subject. So. He proclaims, or he says, indirect statement, that say he is a doctor. All right, in the say, don't do the himself. That's actually reflecting back on the subject, which here is the Leo. All right, then we have the waborum que and he morator. All right, this is for more delay. And he delays the equum, the horse. Um... I'm bigabus with a circumlocution we're borum of words. Uh, now what does that actually mean? And it, it's actually, you know, the way I phrased it is and of itself. Ambigaze is, you know, like we get ambiguity from it. So with an ambiguity of words, meaning he's using a lot of fancy words to try to say nothing while, you know, while, you know, basically saying nothing by saying a lot. And he's trying to just be intentionally confusing. We have a parallel construction here. We need to put this verb here and right here where it is. This is our nominative. You got that U.S. business. So the horse. All right. Opponent um, opposes. All right, dolum. So here's your accusative. And this is actually going to be accusative too. Opposes a trick 
with a trick. Whoa. The CO there is, as I was thinking, instead of opposes, counters. Opponent opposes. Um, deceit with deceit. All right, Fingo, he pretends. And if you notice our perfect active infinitive right here, that's oh. nah, not good. All right, so all of that is gonna be some more indirect statement. So he pretends, all right, say that he, reflecting back on the subject, which is the horse. I uh, dude him long ago. Had uh, Pupu Gisse, ooh, that's kind of fun to say. All right, had pierced his pedum, his foot. in a thorny location, uh, in loco spinoso. And he begs that the doctor All right, inspicians looking closely or inspecting. All right, uh, removes, literally to lead out, removes the scent him, the thorn. All right, and we've got an aura, we've got an uh, we've got this is going to be indirect command. That's why that's subjunctive. I'm gonna switch colors here. Alright. There we go. Hopefully that's easier to see. Alright, so the lion obeys. And the Equus, the horse. All right, so nominative, verb, accusative. All right, so in the horse, um, all right, and ping it, and ping it, and ping it. All right, drives his calcum, his heel or his spur. Into the leone, into the lion. Multiwi with great force. And continuo immediately. And this is some weird phrasing. Um, can it get say? And he throws himself.
onto his feet. And we would say he jumps back on his feet. And so basically, you know, the horse takes off. So the lion, now remember, the lion just got drilled, like, by this horse. The lion, at last, all right, readians is a present active participle, and readians says literally returning himself, um, this is more like meaning like recovering, like coming back to like you know if you ever get the wind knocked out of you or your bell rung so to speak when you finally come back to your senses that's what this is meaning at last barely returning to himself meaning coming to his senses for and this is just a side note fuera he had been near ex animatus, near death from the ictu, from the strike, from the blow. The lion inkwit says, okay, this is going to be accusative this is your verb, that's your subject. I am carrying or bearing the price. All right, ob stultitium on account of my foolishness. And is he, you're a rightly, justly, flees or ran off. Four, and then altus des is, this is deponent. He avenged. And I know there's, there's probably a better word for that. He avenged a trick. Dolo with a trick. All right, and we got a couple of things going on here. Is that one... <clears throat> so one thing is, you know, don't think you're the smartest person in the room. You may be. Uh, but in that instance, you're kind of lacking humility and you will have to pay for it later in the sense of, hey, if, you know, maybe someone has a better idea, maybe someone is this or that. I mean, you know, you're not taking advantage of what's around you. And if you underestimate people, um, you're not going to get the most out of them or it'll come back to, in some way, it'll come back to haunt you. Um, in this instance, he underestimated the intelligence of the horse and he got smacked senseless because of it. Uh, the other thing that's really going, another thing going on here is, you know, he owns it. And he'll say, okay, I screwed up, I made a mistake. And, you know, maybe he'll learn from it, but... So the lion, you know, he thinks he's way smarter. It doesn't end up being the case. He pays for it, uh, but then he owns it thereafter. So there are a couple of things going on there. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the story. This is a little bit challenging, but that's okay. I like that. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know.